Hello and welcome back to my channel Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. In today's story, OP says, Me with my wife, duration of 9 years, she cheated on me when I was out of town. Now let's see how this story goes. Also, if you like my content, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. We have been together for a very long time, begun dating before college, and were exclusive throughout. After school, I moved home while she wrapped up tutoring. Toward the finish of her last semester, she said a final farewell to me because there was another person that was giving her attention. After two months, she returned asking for forgiveness and guaranteed nothing had transpired. A year and a half later, we were living in a condo together. About a year after that, we were married. We moved into a house last year because of the cash I got from my grandma's passing. Four months prior, she lost her employment and has not gotten another, supposedly. After college and her being jobless, I've been the provider for us both. I was fortunate enough to have some work, sufficient to pay for generally the entirety of our costs, including her college loans and new vehicle. OP went out of state a couple of Thursdays ago for a project that the company was involved in. I wasn't scheduled to be back till the next Thursday. Wednesday, I was told that I could go home early. I called and told my wife I would be coming home, but I could tell that she wasn't herself and didn't seem happy to hear the news. She said that she hadn't been sleeping well. I got home and she did seem tired. We relaxed for a few hours and then went to bed where she insisted or stated that she wanted to make love. Having been away for almost a week, I was in a giving mood and performed well. She didn't seem to enjoy and her kisses were all closed-mouthed. The following day, I went to work, nothing unusual. She arrived home after me and went straight to the shower having come from a gym class. She doesn't smoke, so when I asked her why there were cigarettes in her purse, it seemed to have started a conversation she was avoiding. She told me she was unhappy and had been for a while, stated that she thought we wanted different things, mentioned that she hadn't missed me while I was away. Now, through it all, OP was mostly silent and fuming anger, incapable of putting to words the betrayal that he was feeling. She ended up leaving in tears and OP subsequently broke down. I called my friends and ended up riding to their apartment for a few hours. After return home around 11.30, I was angry and hurt and started searching the house out of suspicion. She had left the rings on the dresser. I started looking through her computer. There I found through Facebook messages the log of probably 80% of what had been said between her and the guy she slept with over the previous five days. She stated that things were bearable while she was working, but that her time out of work was the worst in her life. She felt like she wasn't getting to do the things that she wanted to do, and felt like she was cornered and angry with the decisions that got her here. There was also a number of messages where she insisted that they should get together. OP come to find out that she spent the entire Wednesday evening messaging the guy and invited him to his home for dinner. The messaging continued to the early morning and only stopped when she went to his apartment at close to 3 a.m. She didn't arrive home until after 6 p.m. Wednesday, two hours before I got home from the trip. They had slept together unprotected and then insisted that we have sex the night I got home, a time frame of about 18 hours. I also found out through these messages that she went to his apartment when she left the house Thursday night. I saved the entire Facebook conversation to PDF, which ended up being close to 70 pages of messages exchanged in five days, stored in multiple places. She came home after 1 a.m. Thursday night, Friday morning. I told her that I knew. She tried to tell me that she didn't intend for things to happen, which was a lie based on the transcript. Much angry silence followed, and she ended up staying in the guest bedroom. Friday morning, OP broke the news to his parents. I suggested to her that she move out because I wasn't interested in forgiving her. She left for a few days but has since returned to the guest room. Her family found out through my parents and are devastated. Her father and I are actually still good, though awkward, despite all of this. I've gotten in touch with a lawyer. I've also gotten tested for STDs and HIV. Results haven't returned yet. I've moved the money that I can out of joint accounts and gotten my own. I have been working on getting my things in order to live without her once the agreement is finished and she gets out. Once the agreement is finalized, I will have to wait a full year before the divorce is done. I haven't orally spoken a word to her in the weeks since things fell apart, but we are sitting down to discuss it in person today. 
OP says he's sure that he missed some details, but that's the gist of it. Really, the only thing that I don't know or have plans for is where do I go from here? I know that I'm still fairly young, but I was never really one to go out and meet new people, and I have literally no clue what I'm doing when it comes to dating as an adult. For clarity, she does not take birth control. We have used condoms since we started dating, and one was used the night I returned, so the chance for a pregnancy ploy is slim to none. Also, as some of you have pointed out, this ended up not being the first time she cheated. I found out through the transcript that she had slept with some other guy from work four years ago, after the breakup and reconciliation, but before we moved in together. OP finds out the new guy is single. A previous co-worker, OP has his name and address, but has refrained from going to confront him. He knew she was married because they discussed it. Though I do blame him for not cutting the conversation after he found out, I blame her more for finding attention elsewhere and not talking to me about her troubles. Not to say that there weren't things I could have done better, but nothing can be used to rationalize or justify adultery. End of the first story. Well, OP, congratulations, you have a backbone. This is more than many people can say when they discover a partner has cheated. In all seriousness, maintaining your self-respect will help you get through this. It's still going to be bad, it's going to be incredibly hard, and you will struggle at times, but you'll get through it. Don't worry about dating right now. Just worry about getting your affairs in order and the divorce final. Following that, take a trip by yourself or with friends. Something to signify a new start. Once you come back, get yourself a few months and then come back to us for dating advice. End of the first story. We have another short story coming up next. But before that, please like, comment and share if you are enjoying the video so far. Also, subscribe to the channel. The second story is titled, I cheated first and I just discovered a three-year secret relationship with my husband. I have been with my husband for 20 years, married for 18. We have two kids together, ages 19 and 17. I have gone through my worst phases of life with my husband, and he has always been a rock support for me. Our marriage had rough patches as well. I got pregnant at a young age, so I had never experienced life of teenagers. Early in our marriage, I cheated twice on my husband. One of the affairs was with my ex for about a year and a half, PA and EA, and another was EA with a random guy online, also for about a year. We married at a young age, so I made some really terrible choices, which I regret to this day. He forgave me for the affairs, but made me sign agreement for distribution of assets in case of divorce in the future. I agreed and understood why he had to do that. They started fresh and had an awesome marriage. He encouraged me to become sober and clean from drugs. At the time I cheated, I used to take drugs. He got a promotion and we bought our house. He planned vacations and encouraged me to pursue my hobbies. He helped with chores and was a great dad to our children. About seven years ago, I was diagnosed with uterine cancer. When the doctor informed us about the cancer, he literally broke down and started crying. At that moment, I realized how much he loves me. I had to undergo surgery for removal of uterus. After successful surgery, he took care of me like I was a child. He made me breakfast, ordered lunch, and cooked dinner. For six months, he did not let me do any household work or any other work. He even made food for children on his own. These are the moments that I look back and imagine that I could not have survived without him. He is my soulmate, and I cannot imagine my life without him. Last night, while the husband was sleeping, OP unlocked his phone and opened Facebook for some of his photos as OP was planning to surprise him with a big collage of his life journey on his birthday. I saw two Facebook accounts on it. One was his regular one, but the other was with a different name. I opened the other account and found that messages that were sent to his former co-worker. They were texting. I didn't read them, but screenshotted the entire thing and sent it to my phone, deleted the screenshots from his phone, and left it on his side. I was not able to sleep and was crying all night. In the morning, my eyes were noticeably swollen. He asked me about my health, to which I replied I was fine. He gave me a kiss on the forehead and left for work. As soon as our younger son left for school, I opened the screenshots and read their entire conversation. Messages were dated back six months ago. As I scrolled up, they discussed about their fantasies, things they'll do to each other, and nudes. It made me sick to my stomach. As I scrolled more, I saw a message, Happy third year anniversary. 
I don't know why, but after reading that, I literally had a panic attack. I was just lying on the floor, crying. The husband told OP about her past infidelity and how he still has nightmares and flashbacks in mind, but with the other woman, he feels free from all those thoughts and enjoys every second of it. He even said that how he is tolerating every moment he has with me for the past 18 years and being intimate with me is just physical satisfaction he has to do for me, but with her it is deep emotional chemistry. How he stayed in marriage because of the children and will leave me as soon as both our kids start going to college. They even had planned their wedding. It feels like in one day my life is destroyed. I thought we were a happy family. I had everything in life, but in one day my world is shattered. I wanted to grow old with him, but now it feels lonely. It seems like my life was delusion. I can feel my body become lifeless, like my soul is being murdered. I thought that he would have forgotten the past mistakes I made 14 years ago, but he was just bearing my mistake for so many years. OP knew that he's her soulmate and she cannot live without him. I don't know what to do. I have life-ending thoughts by the idea of him leaving me. It's been five hours since I read the messages. I just want to die so that I have the privileges of dying with him as my husband rather than alone. Should I tell him how I feel and what are my thoughts? These past years I have no idea of how much he suffered from the trauma of my betrayal. I know it would be selfish of me to guilt trip him, but my soul is tied to him. If he leaves me, I would rather die than living alone or with someone else. I am confused and I don't know what to do next. End of the story. Well, Lopi, reach out to a therapist. Think of this as something that happens to the best of us and what you can do right now is figure out how to work through this. First, a therapist will help and then maybe reach out to friends and family. You could also try to find new hobbies, do some philosophy and things to do to help you take some distance and get some perspective. Good luck, Opi. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.